Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for the final part of the best albums of the decade video. So I'm going to discuss from 10 to 1 what I've, um, what's on the list. And yeah, let's dive into this video. At number 10, we have Bad Omens, Finding God Before God Finds Me. This album was an awesome record. Uh, this would have made it at my lesser list, but it's going to be at a certain spot in my uh, best albums of 2019, which it is on there. It's just depending on which spot it's at, it could be at any spot in my best albums of 2019. But I did enjoy Dethrone. That was a really good song. Um, I enjoyed If I'm There, Burning Out, Said and Done, Mercy, uh, Kingdom of Cards has grown on me a little bit more. You can see that I have the album picture right over there, right where it's next to Sumerian Records. It's like a little sticker they gave me when I bought the album, which I'm glad I bought the album because it really was worth it. Careful What You Wish For, many others. There's only like 10 tracks on this record, but it's a great runtime to listen to. Listen through mostly. But yeah, at number 10, we have uh, Bad Omens, Finding God Before God Finds Me. At number 9, we have Sum 41, Order and Decline. This record was better than 13 Voices. For sure. It's more aggressive. It lands on the anger-ish kind of side that they're going for with this record. I like that they made a song about the 45th president, which you know who that is. Our very own Donald J. Trump. Uh... He, they made it because they said, I believe that I am losing faith in all of humankind. Because then I realize it's plain to see that a number is all you are to me. I, I just love that chorus lyric. It's so great. Or chorus lyrics for 45 a matter of time. Never There was a really good song about... Uh... Derek's father abandoning him and not being there for him and I can relate to that because my dad was never there for me but yeah I did go into discussion in my album review about that about my dad not being there for me but for the Psalm 41 Order and Decline album review that I did earlier this year. Uh, definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Because I think you guys will like it. Uh, but yeah, there's many other tracks on here that were really good. And at number 9, Sum 41, Order and Decline. At number 8, we have Corn the Nothing. This record... Yeah, it... Probably doesn't deserve to be better than Serenity of Suffering. Because I know Serenity of Suffering was really awesome. But it's... These newer albums are just so great. Uh, this one was really dark. It mainly focuses on the passing of Jonathan Davis' ex-wife that passed away last year uh, due to a mental health issue. And she killed herself, which is really horrible. It's sad to say. Uh, but he stood strong and made this record come to life. And talked about what he was feeling uh, when he was going through that rough time last year. And I gotta say, this record is... Has aggressive tone in it, more screams, very 
the uh uh parts or whatever where he's going a little anger cry kind of stuff that he does and it actually works but at number eight we have corn the nothing i kind of have to pick this up so i could fit everything in this last part at number seven we have hollywood undead five this record was pretty good it was really good uh there were a few tracks on here that weren't so great some mellow tracks on here like ghost beach nobody's watching um those were like basic tracks to get through the record sorry if i'm yawning i just i gotta go to bed after this but uh yeah this record was pretty good and i did enjoy the majority of these songs like whatever it takes black cadillac was my favorite one with johnny three's verse in it was great uh pray put him in the dirt was another good one uh i really liked that one a lot it is very aggressive that song but it works and at number seven we have hollywood undead five at number six we have bring me the horizon that's the spirit this album was hands down amazing uh i gave it like a 10 out of 10 when i did the review of it last november which was like a little a year and a day ago surprisingly because i did it on 11 20 2018 i'm like wow it's already the one year anniversary of that video <laughs> uh so yeah this year has gone by pretty fast but the decade's almost over for the 2010s so enjoy it while you can because the 2020s will be so different uh but i enjoyed ono oh avalanche uh what you need uh run drown uh throne doomed and happy song and a few others but yeah at number six we have bring me the horizon that's the spirit and number five we have breaking benjamin ember this record came out april 13th of 2018 and i gotta say this was a really good record now i'm gonna talk about the 10 out of 10 records now we're getting down to the last five so this is where it gets more interesting this video but i enjoyed feed the wolf red cold river tourniquet psycho uh down torn into blood and many others uh but yeah at number five we have breaking benjamin ember at number four we have after the burial evergreen this record just blew me away with how great the screams are in this record the screechy screams yeah they can get bothersome if you can handle it but i think this record was amazing from start to finish it just it stayed with its normal pace and what they were trying to go for and i think it was a really awesome record i enjoyed uh behold the crown in flux uh 1126 um quicksand was my favorite i like the oh i can feel it i just love that part of the song it's really good and the send me back to sleep song uh crap i forgot what the song was called but you might know what i'm talking about but at number four, we have After the Burial, Evergreen. At number three, we have Alter Bridge, Walk the Sky. This record was amazing from start to finish. 
it does have a lot of classical feels. Like it feels like it's an old band would actually sing this most of these songs, but or kind of have an old band influence from like the 80s or 90s, but they did really good bringing this album together, and Miles Kennedy's vocal range in this record was pretty awesome. It goes a little higher. When the Walking on the Sky song comes, I just get pumped for that chorus. It's really great. And yeah, at number three, we have Alter Bridge Walk the Sky. At number two, we have Crazy 88 Burning Alive. Uh, this record was really awesome. I Am Tetsuo was really good. Uh, and many others. But at number two, we have Crazy 88 Burning Alive. And finally, at number one, drum roll please. Crown the Empire, Sudden Sky. This is definitely going to be one of the best records this year. And I really did enjoy this record a lot. Uh, it's I liked Blurry Out of Place. Um, Red Pills was a favorite. Misery was good. Um, Sequence was a favorite. The title track was great. And 2020 was a really good song too. But yeah, number one, we had Crown the Empire, Sudden Sky. That is going to be it for this best albums of the decade of 2010 to 2019 edition video. This is the final part, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching a few days of this. Because it took nine fucking videos to do all this. <laughs> but comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this uh, best albums of the decade videos if you liked them. And there are nine videos to it, so you're going to be in for one hell of a ride for this and let me know your thoughts on what you think of these videos and if you like these videos comment below and let me know your thoughts on them tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel i'm sorry if i'm slurring my words a little bit i will return to you tomorrow for the beck hyperspace album review i gotta listen to it again which I did hear today, and I don't hate it. It's pretty good. But I'll go into more discussion about it when I do the album review tomorrow. I don't know if Akon's Connect album is coming out tomorrow. I'll find out for sure tomorrow if it does. If not, then it's going to be delayed. Uh, but thank you for watching this final part of the Best Albums of the Decade video. I hope you enjoyed the list I gave to you guys for it, and I'll see you in my next review.